good now. Oh, so God. we just missed the trip. Um, uh, navigating the kilometers, we're gonna take the ferry. Okay, so we are driving from Tikal to Sumac Champe. You know, so many cars, and, and there's a bunch of. <laughs> <laughs> and as we're driving, we see. Yeah, that's what we do. Awesome. So as we're driving, we see on our GPS that it says in 40 kilometers we're taking a ferry. None of us knew about the ferry. Like even when I looked at the route ahead of time, like there wasn't. I didn't read through the steps, so there's that. And there's really only one route to take. Period. So, um, our driver. Capitan here is a little frustrated that I didn't. Oh, oh, there's no frustration. Not frustrated. He's concern. a little there's concerned concern. that we finally got rid of all the stress of the rental car situation only to run into ferry. I personally am like, okay, so you take a ferry across the river. Let's go. Um, so oh, we'll see how it we goes. We found out that a ferry that <laughs> um, was used here before was two canoes. So. Well, that is true. We have heard in other, like our uh, travel means here, their last canoe or their last ferry was a canoe under each set of tires. But like, okay, we'll and be fine. It'll, it'll be great fun. And I think you saw that bridge look like it was, it was fun. Fun. We did just drive across a bridge that was a little was bit... Just some missing with just the girder underneath. A little bit shaky for our liking, I suppose. It's but you know what? See it. This is all part of the adventure and exactly what we signed up for as a travel family. So, uh, we have heard a lot about the road here. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard a lot about the road here and it being like a horrible, don't try to drive it on your own. I will say so far into our journey, yes, there are potholes you have to drive around, but we have those at home too. And other than that, like, don't drive like an idiot. It's not that bad. So we're really doing fine. We're making a, a quick little journey here. So we have made it to the ferry side. Not exactly sure how this happens, and hopefully we can take a car. I mean, oh, there's a car line up up there, so I'm sure they just Lining run the cars. Look, maybe you just get on a boat right there. I and take you one at a time. Oh, there's a, there's a boat. Here, run right your. Can we just go to that just boat? drive to the boat. Or is this guy following us? Yeah. Hola. No. The little one, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the one. This guy right here. Uh -huh. Let's go right up to it. Yeah. Okay, how do you guys feel about it? Ooh, that is, uh, so you can wait for the bigger one you said? You. you can wait for that big ferry where those cars yeah, are? Absolutely no, that's not. Take forever. Jesus or Christ, we can take this. this. Oh, look at the boards can on we that. please not take this? Yeah, I'll go for it. <laughs> Listen, these guys want to get paid for they their jobs, so they'll make sure. Oh my yeah, what, god. What do you think oh they're licensing? Oh my gosh. Please <laughs> like, not do this. Calm down and shush. You're not helping. And they will come. <laughs> We're on, baby. Oh Nicely god. done. This is it. Mine was just two canoes, guys. So you this is an upgrade. <laughs> We're upgraded, baby. I know. And this it's even covered. Go to. I mean, this guy looks like he's got to be at least 13. Yeah, I was going to say they probably built this after school. I'm going to pass out. Just Rocks. breathe. Oh, there's another one there, Rob. Yeah, bringing somebody back. Worst hey. case scenario, you get a little wet. A little sweat. Worst no, case scenario, we. Oh, are we moving? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's actually. Watch oh, your sorry, language. Too, aren't we? <laughs> it's uh, Wait, it's what, express. We're we we're took moving. the express pass. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> going to pass Listen, no. these guys do this <laughs> all day and think, ab oh. think about what you could tell people. So the kids are freaking out a little. It cost us 30 quetzales, which is give or take uh, four or five bucks. And uh, wait, I would like to, to tear. Because he wants to get some pictures. This is what we're parked on. The good news is, is that the water that's at the bottom of the boat looks like it's been there for a while. Because they're... Rox, we're like already across, buddy. Isn't this cool, you guys? What do you think? It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> pull the whole car in. Yeah, they snapped in some photos. No. Oh, look, Rox, we can go get pulled by that banana boat on the river. So the river is beautiful, quite large, and there's just all these boats ready for us. So we're gonna hop back in. 
I love these adventures. This is amazing. Okay, back to the I wasn't hard at all. He's now they uh, watch as they guide you on I'm and off. I'm not a backup camera though. Oh. You know what? Backup <laughs> camera is highly advisable in so this situation. Oh my gosh, Overwatch in here. And I'm the sorry, boards kind of shift with the weight a little bit, which is... You know what? I'm just really glad I'm not driving. <laughs> That's not the fun part. We gotta get oh. up on the dirt. Luckily the guys push. are helping. No, it'll we need go. to get out. Just hang tight. Yay! We, we are it. off the boat. It's a high style ferry. If our daughter dies of a heart attack in like her 30s, there will be a collection of moments well, like this that have put her at stress. If you can do it or not. So one of the things that we I read a lot, anytime we're going to rent a car, I like to look up driving conditions, what to expect so we don't get caught off guard. Um, this is now, I don't know, five, six countries we've driven in. Um, and one of the consistent things I saw was about road conditions in Guatemala, especially because we are hitting like five tourist destinations. We're not too far off the beaten path in any of them. Um, a lot of what you see when you read that is how it, the roads are sketchy is the word you hear all the time or, or difficult. I'm starting to find that it kind of doesn't matter what country you're in. It seems like that's what people think if it's not like a massive highway like we're used to in the United States. But I will tell you, on these roads here, we have not been uncomfortable. You go slow, there are a ton of speed bumps and there are, you know, is a little bit of, um, sometimes like when there's a little roadside stand, they'll actually put up like a blockade so you have to slow down to get around it and I think it's more to get attention the only it seems to be for roads. Is driving in Chi Chi if you could avoid driving in Chi Chi if you could avoid the yes the, the um, through the city it is a tight Though space this would have been a million um, we back, were in a giant van that was a manual drive and the hills are intense and the one-way streets are not all mapped out well on Google um, but outside of of that city and getting down into and back out of in the valley there um so far we haven't had a hard time driving at all you see the streets they're they're paved well and a pothole here or there but overall not something to be too worried about one thing we will tell you about driving here is watch the speed bumps they're the same color as the road <laughs> they blend in quite well and there is no warning, no signage, you just have to pay attention. They're... The upside of those most of them, if you're coming up on a city you, or a town, you can expect yeah. you're going to have they're some. They're going to be through the but urban every areas. every now and again they've been, I don't know, 500 meters out of the town. And, and we, uh, yeah, they're, they're a bit of a doozy if you're hauling along and don't see them coming. <laughs> Sunburn on the back. We're just waiting our turn here in the town to cross the bridge that... We just watched a semi truck come across and it took the whole space. Hey, yeah, buddy. Can you stop asking? Kai, if you ask again, we won't get it, okay? That's, that's sufficient. Okay? Please just spy on that you understood what he I said. He said, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, see this side? That's a nice boat. But it looks
color of that river is insane. Oh boy. Sometimes we lie and it is sketchy road conditions. <laughs> I've been on the road here and uh, see there's you know some big stuff of rocks and things. Some of the locals here put up a rope, throw a bunch of uh, giant stones in front of you and then tell you you can't pass until you pay. Which maybe we should have just gotten out in the first place and gotten the rocks ourselves. But we're trying, you know, we thought, okay. Like what did he say? Did he we'll, say because we'll just, there's rocks or did he because say? Because they're working on the road and they are. Right, like helping. they're clearing like, this. You know, you're, you're just putting rocks me. there on the road. Mm -hmm to collect money. So that was a little bit of a frustrating situation. We ended up paying him 300. Then he tried to ask for even more, which is even worse. So a little bit of a frustrating situation, but something to be aware of if you're driving your own vehicle. Luckily, we are with my uncle who speaks Spanish because had we shown up at this situation, it's not like we would have been translating for ourselves very well in that. to arrive somewhere around 536. We're now pushing six and we're still about an hour away. I will definitely look through the map carefully when we get to the hotel and see if there's something that we missed. But as far as we could tell looking at the maps, there was no other option coming from the north here. So uh guess we'll find out. Uh, now yeah. we're just going down here. Really pretty. It looks maybe better. I hope so, like I guess they <laughs> Are we going down that road right there? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you should have heard. <laughs> if you it. could have heard oh, the yelp that just went through this car. Oh it is 6.45. We should have been there already, but the road obviously it did not account for dirt. We just made it to a paved road for the first time in probably about 40 kilometers total. Uh, we're a little bit sketched. We spent two and a half hours bending through it. We're tired. We're hungry. We all need, well, the girls need to go to the bathroom. The boys had a potty break. And we all literally just cheered coming onto a paint road. Um, this feels like first class driving. So we're to a normal town. Obviously closed up for the night, but it looks like it might be a, it looks like it might be a really cool market town. Unfortunately, I'm not sure we will come out this oh. way again. But we have shook off the the bad juju. We just stopped and asked some locals what the name of this town was. They're very friendly and nice. It's a good reminder that even though bad things happen, people are generally very good and kind. So, you know, as it goes, don't count your chickens before they're hatched. We're back on a dirt road. Can't really see anything, but uh, so there's a nice little road right through the town, which, yay! What a, 
is it's not bad. bad. No, it, it's, it's, it looks it's like it used paved. to be paved at least, it's which the other paved. one sure. wasn't. I don't think it used to be. Uh, yeah, I this looks like it's it, really well or maybe it's been flattened, like rolled oh, out. Anyway, it's really well traveled, so it's too dark. Anyway, good times, good times. I don't even care about all the bumps or anything. I just you care, care about, about the fact that with. the bumps are going to make me piddle in my pantaloons. That's true. <laughs> your pants. Bumps are gonna make you Good news. We don't wear pantaloons anymore, so you're fine. So after this absolutely insane drive, as you've maybe seen, a few people, like our kids, are playing with some other kids in the pool from here. And these kids are learning Spanish, or they're, they're learning English. Their father speaks English really well. And their uncle is up here saying, hey, your kids, uh, they're very friendly. They talk a lot. Uh, like really great kids so all my point was after that long hard day this is why we do what we do so that our kids can meet people from all over the place get to know them have fun and today having people take advantage of feeling compromised in a position and like we have to make different decisions for the safety of our kids like we didn't argue with the guy or whatever but with the kids like our that kind of thing. We never want them to remember the bad and travel because people who take advantage of happen in every country around the world. It doesn't matter. What we want them to remember, especially um, on days like today, are the good things and all the fun that they had and the friends that they had instead. Because overall, in our travels, we both agree most people are fantastic. 99.9%. But yep. well, we want them to learn from so, those lessons, you know, we want them to learn from those difficulties, but we really want them to learn. And it's sometimes hard to balance our own stress and our own outward reactions that we go through together. The fact that they're in the car listening and you have to kind of balance that out so that they understand and know how to do things in the future when they're the ones in charge, but that they don't take away a negative experience from something because we have bad attitudes. You okay? okay. But so yeah, they're making friends, they're having fun. I think we're all feeling a little better now. Are you feeling slightly better? I am really upset I didn't push you for an ATM. That's the last of my frustrations for the day. I really should have stopped to get cash because we're anti-spire. It is what it is.